And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another episode of Let's Play StarCraft 2. I'm joined, as always, by Jim Reyna. When we last left off, we just joined the Hyperion Bridge. And we met this guy, Horner. What is up, Horner? Just how bad is it, Matt? Zerg are attacking all over the sector, sir. Manx pulled the fleet back to protect the Dominion core worlds, leaving the fringe worlds to fend for themselves. It's a nightmare. There's no way we can stop an alien invasion with one capital ship and a handful of volunteers. Best we just stay clear, partner. We can earn ourselves a fortune working for Mobius while this whole thing blows over. You don't get it, convict. This isn't gonna just blow over. The Zerg won't stop until we're all dead. Don't worry, Matt. We ain't sitting this one out. But we're not exactly in tip-top shape, either. We'll earn some cash and build up our forces so we can make a difference when it counts. We met th this guy. Who the hell are you? Yeah, uh, sir. Any chance you'll get the lab up and running soon? That'd be great. What is up, Mission Hill, dude? How you doing, Tychus? One hell of a ship you got here, Jimmy. How'd you get a hold of a floating palace like this? The Hyperion was Mink's flagship back in the day. Me and Matt decided to borrow her when we parted company with him. This old baby seen us through some tight spots. Speaking of tight spots, Tychus, why are you still wearing that suit on my bridge? Yeah, what, you bust the zipper or something? Okay, so I might have had a little help when I broke out of prison. Let's just say it came at a price. I get to stay locked up in this suit till I pay off all my debts. Who's collecting those debts? Who sprung you? The Mobius boys, of course. They didn't just run into them in a museum, you know. They want them artifacts something fierce. Your debts better not bite us in the ass, Tychus. Covering for your shenanigans ain't part of the deal. So damn. Alright, uh, so you can look at the old missions here. You can go to the old stuff here. Uh, the cinematics, uh, the missions. We've done all of them. Uh, there's actually 29. Whatever. Uh, you can go to the star map here to, to start your next mission, but first, we need... Well, we need to talk to this guy. Steady as she goes. Thank you. Thank you for that. You were very important. Let's go to the armory instead, and we can see what's going on here. Hey, everybody! Our glorious leader has returned! <laughs> hey, man, what's up, cowboy? What do you got for me, Swan? Uh, the usual, building up our standing forces. Bringing my troops and hardware up to speed, huh? Yep, you can add upgrades for their tech right here on the console. But building an army on the run ain't cheap. You brought back credits this time, right? Look, I know money's been tight. But that artifact we just picked up from Marsar is gonna solve everything. Yeah, I've heard that before, brother. It's different this time. Yeah, I heard that one too. All right, we can talk to Swan, who's in charge here. And I think that's it here for right now, well, outside the console. Upgrading what we got is all well and good, but when are we getting new hardware? A lot of gaps in our inventory right now. Sometimes we take a job with some kind of new hardware, and I get a schematic for it so we can make more of them. The plans for other stuff, we gotta either beg, borrow, or steal. And let's look at the console, see what upgrades he is talking about. So far, we just have two basic groups. We can upgrade the bunkers, you know, that's the base. Basically, you're going to see all the buildings here. Or you can upgrade the infantry. Now, okay, when you have medics, Stimpak is overpowered. So let's go ahead and get that. Basically, uh, what Stimpaks are, they're, they're drugs that are, are automatically given to all your... Uh, units through through their suit somehow and then it, it costs them 10 HP but they fire and move 50% faster it's definitely worth it worth it it lasts 15 seconds which is awesome so I have enough for that and that looks like it um, in increases the range or increases the number of bunker slots by two I'm not really interested in that right now we we might come back to that uh, for some of the other missions but right now I think I'm good with what we have. So I think it's time to move on to the next mission. 
Usually in this star map, we What's do have... What's your general status, Matt? We to, picked up a distress call yeah. from the planet Agria. There's a colony there under attack by the Zerg. Your convict buddy Tychus lined up a mission retrieving another artifact. It's on a Protoss shrine world called Monolith. Okay, so we have two options here. We have Agria. Let's see, where we get introduced to the fire bat. The Zerg are invading Agria. The Dominion abandoned us here. We're just a small farming colony. We've got to evacuate before we're overrun. If you can hear this message, please help us. And we've got Monolith. The Mobius boys think there's another artifact in a world called Monolith. Supposedly there's Protoss guarding it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Taldarim. Now don't get all sentimental thinking these Taldarim are your old Protoss buddies. Because they ain't. Now me, I love myself the Marauder. So I am going to do Monolith today. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, oh, hell. Them critters were just hiding underground, waiting? No idea, but you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. So this is the first time that we get to see the Zerg, or sorry, not the Zerg, the Protoss. Uh, the Protoss is, of course, a, a more advanced race than the Zerg. The Zergs are, the Zerg race is kind of insect-like, bugish, however you want to phrase it. The Protoss are more your intellectual telepathy and plasma type race of aliens, so... They're going to be more sophisticated, they have shields, they have all that kind of stuff, whereas the Zerg are more just swarm and take everybody else out that way, and Terran are more... They're gritty. I'll say it that way. They're gritty. I love them that way, though. But we do get introduced to the Marauder here, which is a lot of fun uh, when you get the Marauder. And hopefully I can handle this one. I should be able to do it, no problem. Like I said, you know, this is me trying to get back into StarCraft 2, and I'm not sure of my capabilities, but I'm pretty sure I can handle these, this early stuff no problem. If I do fail, though, it'll be fantastic. Can we get this going? Yeah, thanks for telling me about the second barracks, even though you guys gave me one in the last mission. Come on, let's go. Don't freeze on me, baby. I love you, StarCraft 2. You know I've always loved you. Alright, same strategy as always. SCVs, as many as you can produce, as quickly as you can produce. Just line them up. Uh, I like to m line them up in the middle and they just kind of spread out themselves. I always set that as my number four, just out of habit. And um, we, can, we can move these guys up here. Uh, you always want to guard the ramp. Right, it's basically a race between you and the Zerg. Then we've got to get that artifact before the Zerg overrun the whole place. All right, let's go for more Marines. Uh oh. This is gonna be our number five. Incoming transmission. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders. The latest word in big bada boom hardware. I ain't sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. Best time there is. Let the marauders loose against those stalkers and you'll see. Ready? Armed and ready. Stim up. Stim only affects the uh 
only affects the Marines right now because we only purchased the upgrade for them. But in uh, in future, it might affect the Marauders as well. I'm going to keep going for Marines. I'm going to get a second barracks. Um, I'm going to get a couple guys on gas. Just a couple right now. I want to waste all of the stuff, all of the, the mineral production right now. I want to keep that going a little bit. Additional supply depots required. And I need more supply depots. Of course I do. I always think they give me more than they actually have. That's one of my main problems. Alright, so we got all these guys right here. These guys are awesome. These Marauders. They do 10 damage uh, regularly and 20 against armored units, whereas the Marines just do 6. Plus they have a range of six, whereas the Marines only have a range of five. These guys are awesome. Love my Marauders. The only problem is they can't attack air. At all. Can't point their guns up. For whatever reason. Uh, another tech lab. And then you can go there. There we go. Now I got this fully saturated. Three is full saturation on the, on the refineries. No more, no less. Three. That way there's one person waiting outside, and it's it's the fastest you can do anymore, and it's Hello. just going to do the same amount of production, so there's no point in wasting it. All right. Uh-oh. Yeah, you can see them up here on the mini-map. They're going in, going after the, uh, after the Protoss. I'm not too concerned about that. And they come to try to take on me. And that just that just did not work out for them at all. The doctor is in. Right. I don't have enough minerals to do what I want to do right now, which is get enough of the marines and or sorry the marauders and the medics. Um, I don't think you need very many uh, marines for this. I don't think there's a lot of anti-air, but I do want to keep the stim pack going. Minerals. There we go. See this over here? This is a Protoss Relic. We will be getting all of those on this map. Can you move from there? Sweet, he's not trapped. Not enough minerals. You can lower these in case he did get trapped. That was a big problem in StarCraft 1. Luckily they did fix that in this this uh, this updated game. Oh my god, that was so annoying. Other, other races, uh, I know the Protoss, they can actually lose their drones. You get caught between uh, between these uh, pylons right here. You can actually trap them, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. You have a high Templar. Nice. These are zealots. Um, they're your basic melee units with their side blades, and then they'll they'll be attacking throughout the whole the whole time. All right. Let's get another one of those, and then I think we're ready to move out just a bit. Just a little bit here. We want to get that first artifact right here. That gives us Protoss research. We'll go over research in a bit. I want to head up here though. Let's stim up. I did lose a marine. Just one though. Oh, it lost two. Alright, going up here. Marauders do bonus damage to these things. They wipe out spine crawlers like you wouldn't even believe. Alright, and then we head over here. Keep making those. Falling a little bit behind here. Because I'm trying to pay too much attention to what's going on with my army. Ugh. Okay. You guys just come down here. He's the only one that can attack air. Ah, damn it. Okay, I'm losing Marauders. That's not a good idea. Uh, what was I thinking? Alright, let's just get the hell out of here. That was not a smart move at all. What the hell was I doing? I forgot that there were Protoss down there, to be honest with you. Alright, how's my saturation doing? It's It's getting there. Let's build another barracks, and then we can get a bunker for the inevitable rush. 
I didn't think there were going to be that many mutas. Ugh. Okay. Add on complete. We're getting there. We're getting back in this. There is a time limit if you want the achievement. I obviously am not going to be able to do that because I've already failed massively. But that's okay. I'll get better. The doctor is in. Alright, when you're done, you go back here. You can queue him up that. that. Alright, and I'm going for two marines, a marauder, and a medic right now even though I have way too many medics so the next couple rounds I'm not going to be going for the medic I'll be going for either a marine or another marauder uh... let's get a fifth one we'll turn this one into attack lab alright there we go we can put four marines in there Ah, what am I doing? I'm done. I'm done with 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 the SUVs for now. Uh, like I said, there was a time limit. Uh, like there is a time limit even for winning this because, of course, the Zerg um, can't. Uh, they can't get there. Oh crap, families! You want to get those before they get too close. Because those are not nice. They explodify all up in your face. It's not a fun time. Um, yeah, another reactor. And now we're very close to a build I usually do in multiplayer, which is... Uh, f I'll, I'll get to the point where I do five racks, which is... Uh, I go for four marines and three marauders. Of course, I'll, I'll have to mix in a medic every now and then. See, look, he cannot get out, so I have to lower the supply depot. And there we go. I think... I think I'm ready to move out now. I'm scared, but I'm, I think I'm ready. We're going to try to go back around this way because I want this Protoss relic over here. I don't, I don't think killing the overlords does anything for you on this map and this because I don't think the the Zerg work that way. Okay. Let's try to get as much of us shooting as we can. Alright, go down here. Yeah, why not destroy these? It'll waste a little bit of time. If you're going for that time achievement, don't um, don't take on those. Just don't. Okay. Everybody meet out here. And we can queue up... Well, we need to queue up another supply depot right now. But everybody needs to be queued up to go here. doesn't look like the Zerg are making a move at me right now. I will need to make um, missile turrets, so let's go ahead and do that now. Oh, I need an engineering bay for that. So let's get an engineering bay! God, I'm running out of room here fast. Okay, you guys are my new number one. We need to move here. Just take that on. And then, yeah, here come the Zerg. With those mutas. Alright, we're good. We're good. We got really we suffered minor casualties there. Not enough minerals. Alright, now with this you wanna go for the pylon. Just go just mask the pylon. Once you take that out, the the, the photon cannons will fall. They need to be powered by that thing. Uh, supply depots. Supply depots. Let's get the infantry upgrade, and we'll keep mo we'll keep going. I am so behind where I want to be right now, but that's okay because I'm still getting the job done. This is not the best run of this map I have ever seen, not by a long shot. Okay. Now for these, um, you want to try to get these 
powered down before these guys even see you. Um, those sentries can cast force fields, which are not nice. Not nice at all. Let's get a turret up. All right, now see, I've, I've unpowered those photon cans. We can go ahead and go in. Yeah, these sentries will block you off with these force fields, but they are not very strong attackers. They're more of a tactical play more than they are an overwhelming force. So, once those go down... Additional supply depots required. Are you guys not in my number one? Yeah, let's go. Let's keep going. We need to go down here. Um, just move in. That means a couple guys are going to die. That's fine. But we need to take out that pylon. That's the fastest way to, to beat this one. Go down here. And we're getting there. We're getting there. The Zerg are getting closer, of course. That's that's fine. We will definitely beat them. Um, I'm just keeping these guys here as um, just sa a safety net for me. Uh, you do want to focus down the sentry um, because he did cast that guardian shield, as you saw. Ugh. Alright, in come the Munas, like I said. I didn't realize they were going to be down that far. Let's see if I can get one over here. Alright. Double-clicking your hotkey. I have these guys on number one. We'll... Alright, let's stim up. Uh, Double-clicking your hotkey will center the, m uh, the map on your guys. So, there's an easy way to move around the map. Ugh, supply depots. Alright, let's get the next upgrade. We're behind on that. That's fine. Alright, just doing as much damage as I can right now. It doesn't really matter what I go for. Uh, let's move these guys in. So, now we've got a huge force coming in. Yeah, I know about the freaking supply depots. Are you guys go down there? Everybody, move in. Now I've got this huge force. I'm gonna set them all on number one. And now I'm moving out. You guys, you guys need to get back here. All right, number one, move out. These guys are really just designed to slow you down. These sentries, that's their whole purpose on this map, at least. Are you stuck? No, you're not. Additional supply depots required. Right. Now we move. Additional supply depots required. Ah. We, oh, I almost forgot about this one. Sure thing. And then, as soon as they get there, they'll start attacking. I almost forgot the last Protoss um, crystal here, the relic here. You want to get that because it'll... Well, we'll go over why you want to get those. But you want to get all of those. Now, I'm going to put my whole army in there. And hopefully, I don't need to micro too much. Uh, are you guys all going to make it? Alright, stim up. I don't even need to focus them. i got such a big army. Jeez. Go in there and grab it. And that's the mission. I got a crew coming down to pick up the artifact. Once again, I want that dropship. We got what we came for. Let's hightail it out of here. I forgot how resourceful you were, Jim. I won't make that mistake twice. Kerrigan. Kerrigan. What happened to you? You used to be hot. But there we go. Smash and grab is done. Now, you're supposed to get it done in under 15 minutes. I did it in 18.24, so not as bad as I thought. Um, but I did, I did a lot better than I thought, but I, I could have done 
much, much better. Alright, is there going to be a cutscene? Why is it acting so slow for me today? That is not a good thing. I think it's because I'm still technically uploading. That could be it. Just too much memory usage being spent elsewhere. Slows it down just a little bit. Not too bad, though. I do love these little pictures, but I don't need them to last as long as they are right now. This battle cruiser. It is operational. We do see some planets in the back. Oh, nice. That's funny, convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me, none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing to do. So that's one good thing about this game is that they do kind of fill you in in case you didn't see the lot the the story from the last game there they give you hints and and tips about what all that used to mean and all that kind of stuff i caught tychus hacking into our database sniffing around about kerrigan i don't know what his game is but we clearly can't trust him matt me and tychus ran together a long time got in all sorts of trouble when the law finally caught up he took the rap for both of us never once ratted me out I got a second chance, he got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him that. Leave it be. Yes, sir. Ooh, we're gonna get drunk. Maybe. 47 minutes later. How specific of you. Guess you heard the news by now, Rainer. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting a Zerg and Dominion all at once is gonna take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But you know, the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. So we are now unlocked, uh, well we have unlocked mercenaries. You can see we've already bought the war pigs. Basically, you almost every, uh, every map now will have this mercenary compound. And you just press the button, cost you a set of minerals, and down these guys come to, to help you out. These are your super marines, these are your super marauders, the hammer securities. But we will go over which one we will hire next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play StarCraft 2. I've been Balloscope. I've been joined, as always, by Jim Raider. And now there is a dancing elf? I think that's supposed to be a night elf from World of Warcraft. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. 
Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.